What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and welcome to my all new series Let's Build Lego So a lot of you have been asking me to show you how I build some of my larger scale Lego creations and hopefully this series will show you just that plus maybe a few tips and tricks for you when you build your own Lego models So I hadn't got much of an idea for what to build when building this Lego house so I just started off by taking my Lego Oldsmobile and one of my workbench creations and just using that as a sort of guideline for where I was going to build the garage because I was certain that this garage would house that Oldsmobile and also have some space for workbench so as you can see I started measuring out the dimensions for the garage by placing some blocks and just making sure it's equal and then as you can see I've started to layer the bottom floor of the house with some dark grey bricks and I wasn't going to build the whole house out of dark grey bricks as this was just a sort of accent I guess you could say but it certainly gave some contrast to what was going to be beige walls of the house and white windows. Now I experimented with this design and straight away I thought this was a great design for the garage and house so I stuck with it and decided that this should be the design that the whole house follows. So as you can see I'm just adding in the front door at the moment and again measuring out the dimensions and proportions since this is a very important thing to do when you're building Lego buildings because even though dimensions might not seem that important later on in your build when it's very tricky to change them you, you want to make sure that you have equal dimensions so it's nice and easy to put in features like windows and roofs and even second floors so to do that just make sure that all your dimensions are nice and even or if they're not even that you have a plan how you're going to build a roof later on so as you can see I'm just layering up the sides with a couple of brick textured 1x2s and these are a great piece I think they really add a lot of detail in a small space and of course that's great for something like the front of a house so as you can see I've started to measure the back garden and the back of the house and again using some larger bricks to measure the dimensions and make sure everything's even I begin to place down the first couple of walls and this will be the, the back of the kitchen this wall right here now I had an idea for the back of the house that I would have a swimming pool in the middle at the back but that idea soon changed into something a bit different but we'll see how later but for now I started playing around with the idea of having some glass doors overlooking the swimming pool and then I decided that if this swimming pool is truly going to look impressive I needed to add some height to the build and for that I built up a little base out of these 2x4 bricks you see here and this creates a raised section which I can let later place some plates or something on and gives a bit of depth for the swimming pool and as you can see uh, that space behind the garage was better in the end for a swimming pool so I later moved the swimming pool into that space there but for now I planned it out so that the swimming pool would still be in front of the glass doors okay so I'm just building a bit more of the layer underneath and again I'm repeating the same brick pattern design that I used for the front since I think it's nice to have a bit of symmetry but not be too symmetrical 
in your builds. And here you can see I'm just playing around with the different ideas I've got for the kitchen windows and the kitchen brick design. So once I have done a basic outline of the walls, I can start work on the inside. And you can see on this side wall that later on I'll add a little back exit and a kitchen door to the back to act as a sort of back door to the house. Okay, so with the main outline of the house done, it was time to start work on the interior planning. Now this was very important to get right, since there's not that much space in the interior, even though it looks like it to start with. There really isn't too much space to be building in, especially since the walls will be too thick, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But my main idea for this was to have a main corridor going through the side like that and connecting off the corridor would be the kitchen and that would be towards the back the living room and that would be towards the left at the front and the main room which would be the biggest and that would also be a sort of living room where I would maybe include the stairs and a little bit of a raised section and a dining table. Okay, so you can see that I'm building up the walls and eventually these walls will become too thick because I, on each side of the wall I would have a different colour brick. This will create a really cool effect which you'll see later on during the series. And I plan to use this wall system all throughout the build since I think it will look very good. So after la after layering up these s skirting board walls and adding in some door frames, I won't actually fill these door frames with the any doors, but I'll leave them open so it will still create a nice border and contrast, but not actually have any doors in them. So I think round about now that I start to toy with the idea of creating another little room, maybe a toilet or some stairs round in the main living room. And this is an idea which I complete but change a bit. So you can see I'm just building up the raised section at the moment and adding raised sections to your lego houses and builds in general just really adds a whole another layer of detail which is something that you definitely want and I've as I've almost finished doing the floor plan for the bottom you can see I'm just finishing off the two white walls so hopefully next episode we'll get around to building the walls inside and maybe just altering a couple of rooms and adding some more designs to outside and inside. So until then, I've been LEGO Paradise and I'll see you all next time. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.